Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Fireplace, do you know how? Piles of paper, my desk is out. Who will care for the world now? Rest with me, close to curtains, brew some herbal tea. Welcome back to another episode guys. We are going sailing today in Catalpa 2 and we haven't sailed her much to be honest so we, while we're here we wanted to go out in the bay as often as possible which hasn't been much because there's been so much stuff broken but we're going to go out in the bay and practice sailing, pulling on all the ropes, putting up all the sails and just having a nice day around the bay. Um, I'm going to have a mud water before we go out. There's something really cool I learned the other day. I don't suffer from seasickness but Apparently caffeine has a bit to do with if you drink caffeine and then go on a boat, it can make you more seasick. So this is a pretty good alternative. It has some caffeine in it, but not as much as coffee. It only has like a, a smidge amount. Um, but it also has, this is a matcha mud water, by the way. It's like if matcha, if you like matcha tea and chai teas and they had like a baby, this is what it tastes like. It's really, really yummy. Anyway, it has ginger and spices and really yummy stuff in here. Ginger's really good for seasickness as well. I, there is nothing behind any of this that will help you not get seasick, but if you suffer from seasickness, don't drink coffee before you go sailing. And this could be a good alternative. Anyway, I'm gonna make one. Really enjoying drinking mud water. We have, there's like a few different ones and matcha, is one of my favorites. It's really nice. I like it. All the ingredients in here are organic. Um, we're gonna go out sailing in the bay and we're gonna take you guys with us. We're gonna put up hopefully all the sails, see how it goes. And it's a beautiful day outside. So let's go sailing. Can you make me one too, please, mum? <laughs> I sure can. Okay, so we've been in this anchorage for quite a while. And when you're sitting in an anchorage, your chain gets pretty dirty, like the bottom of your hull. That's why you've got to clean it for quite a bit. So today I've got to clean the anchor chain. I've got a new deck wash put in and I've got a scrubbing brush. So let's get into it. We haven't really sailed this boat much because we want to get used to this boat. So we're going to take it out for a sail. a little bit of sail just in the San Diego Bay today so we're just testing all the stuff out because this boat is pretty new to us for sailing wise we have had it for nearly a year now but you know we haven't really sailed that much so it's nice to just see all the things and how to work everything so it's a beautiful day in San Diego <laughs> We're doing a live with our patrons today as we sail along. Taj and Bella are talking to everybody. <laughs> Captain's driving. Pretty busy out uh, here. Yeah. Busy, he can't so take his busy. eyes off the water. No pretending, no need to escape 
just wanna be where you are. I know everything has a end. The sails up. Got three sails up. We don't have a head sail out, but um, we're testing them all. <laughs> this is the most this boat we've had it healed over for sure. What have we got about 10, 10 knots? 13, 14 knots of wind. And um, we're only going about five knots because we've got a really dirty bum. But yeah, we're sailing. Sailing out here in San Diego Bay. We got three sails up. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things that was a lot different for us was all the sailboats in one little spot were, that were racing past us. <laughs> Do you like driving the boat, Josh? I'm gonna wait till we're not in a bay with a thousand boats before I get a little bit of practice with this boat. guys what a humdinger of a day out there it was sailing around the bay of san diego we love this place it's a beautiful place the sun was out sails were up and we had a fun little day out on the boat it sailed really well there's a lot of new systems we've got a lot to learn a lot to replace hey she's a old boat so there's definitely going to be teething problems for a while a few differences compared to our old boat obviously we have another mast and a smaller sail at the back of the boat there. When we're sailing on this boat, it's a lot different with the winches being self-tailing compared to non-tailing, which is a lot easier for just one person instead of having two people having to hold one rope and then one having to wind. It's, and then, but a caveat is it, the sails are a lot bigger. The head sail's the same, it's just furling. It's a little bit larger, obviously. Working back to the main sail uh, on Catalpa 1, it was just a slab reefed main and was operated from up on top of the deck, up near the mast, where we do all of our reefing. Uh, this one has an in-boom furling, so the sail doesn't just get flaked, it actually rolls up inside the boom and all the lines come back to uh, the helm. So far it seems to be working alright. People either love or hate them. Uh, I definitely do like the idea of in boom as opposed to in mast. Uh, if we do have a problem we can just treat it like a slab reef main. As opposed to if you have a problem with a furling in mast it can be a bit of a problem because you can't access it and we've met people along the way that have had to cut their sails and do all sorts of things um, stuck in heavy weather with a sail that won't furl away. But anyway, that's all good. All lines back to the helm for the main shift rolls up. So far, so good. So the angles with furling, 
need to be pretty um, spot on with the boom. We don't actually have a solid boom vang on this. It wasn't on the boat when we got it. So we will get one in time, but for now we just have to keep a note on one of the sheets or the topping left. Uh, the kids are doing a lot more of the furling of the sails in and out. I think we've got a lot to learn, all of us, and I think it's gonna be fun once we do. A bigger difference, and it's a better difference, is pulling up the sails. So the main sail and the back sail, the stay sail, because they're both kind of like main sails, I guess. Little one, big one, yeah. But, so on Katalf we only had one, so we'd pull the main up. And when we drop it, we'd have to like flake it into the bag. But this one, we only need to drop it and someone pulls another rope because it's an in boom furling. So you just like pull and drop. And I think that's actually kind of easier. And we have blocks so you can lock off, lock on with just like a switch so the rope doesn't run out of your hands. So you can pull it and let go, nothing happens. It's kind of a fancier boat, even though all of the stuff on this boat is older. The stuff on Catalpa was even older than that. And I think it's pretty nice motion sailing this boat. It was going okay until we actually gave it a few more revs and got the RPMs up and noticed there's a slight vibration. So I went down below, I lifted up the floorboards and I was looking at the drive shaft and the drive shaft has quite a fair bit of wobble in it uh, once we put the revs up. So to me, obviously, that's the cutlass bearing. Um, I did take a dive under the boat after we sailed and I was able to get the, sh the shaft and move it up and down side to side and there's a lot of play in there. So that'll be one of the jobs to do when we hauled out is to put a new cutlass bearing in um, and hopefully that should solve the whole drive chain issue, the vibration. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like that video, you can put a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. And I also have a YouTube channel. I finally started. I've posted already four videos on there, so you should go check it out. Subscribe. I hope to see you next week, guys. Love ya. Bye.